Hey everyone, it's Sammy. Now this is the second of my Christmas party looks. This is the more um, kind of angelic, um, sweeter type party look. Last week's was um, a lot darker and more from the sinner. This is more from the kind of saint end of the scale. Um, so the eyes are kind of winged. My whole idea with this look was kind of angelic wings. So you kind of, uh, you overemphasize the crease. This is a party look after all, so, you know, there is still quite a lot of makeup, <laughs> even though this is the angelic version. So you wing the kind of the fake crease up, then you wing your eyeliner up, then also the kind of the fake lashes are winging up, and then I even winged up my eyebrow ever so slightly, not too much. So, and you leave, um, the bottom uh, of uh, the lid, so like below the eye, it's completely nude, um, apart from just a little bit of like nude pencil on the waterline. This is so that um, you kind of look a lot more fresh and innocent when you don't add anything under your eyes at all. So all of this is just kind of lifting your eyes. Um, oh, obviously there is the little kind of crystals there. Sorry, forgot about them. Um, but you can do this look without crystals. Um, you can do this look without fake um, eyelashes as well. So it kind of depends on how far you want to take it, really. The skin is... Um, I haven't done any contouring. I've done kind of reverse contouring, so I've done highlighting. So I've added a lot of highlighter. Oh, I've got something just there. So I've added a lot of highlighter. There is highlighter here, then there's highlighter here, there's highlighter on the nose. This is kind of, I wanted to bring out certain features, but I didn't want to add darker colors to my face. I wanted everything to stay quite, um, my skin to stay quite um, um, pale, and I also wanted it to have kind of contours, but without adding dark color. So what you do then is you add lighter color to um, bring out certain um, features. So without further ado, uh, let's get started on the kind of the saintly version of the Christmas party look and um, I'll definitely upload uh, another um, lashes video before um, Christmas so um, yeah you can all have a look at that but yeah let's get started now with this tutorial. So I'm going to start off with my Laura Mercier um, Silk Cream Foundation and this is in a medium ivory I need to shake it up a little bit before you use it and the way I like to use it is I put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I just dot it around like really just dot it always try and make sure I get a bit more around the nose and then I use my uh, MAC 187 and then I just buff it in then I'm going to use my Makeup Forever under eye concealer in a 305 now this is lighter than I would normally use because I really want to like brighten up the under eye area and I'm going to use my uh, MAC 224 to blend it in. So normally I would wear a 325 but because I really really want to brighten up I've gone a couple of shades lighter. So then we're going to brighten up the eye area even more. Uh, I'm, as a base for my lid, I'm using actually an Inglot eyeliner, and this is in white, um, 76. And I'm using the same brush that I just used for my under eyes. Apply a little bit. Now, as you can see, this is really opaque. You could use, um, like, you could use matte painterly, you could use the NYX milk pencil, and then just blend it in with your finger. Then I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime Powder to set um, the eyes. So I'm using it all over the eyelid and then I'm using it under my eyes. And around the nose, this really comes out so always powder really work kind of here. On the nose of course but here as well because in photography for some reason that area really really comes out the first shadow I'm going to use I'm going to be using uh, mainly NARS eyeshadows the first one is all about Eve and it's two kind of pearlescent um, off-white very very pale um, 
beigey colors and I'm going to use that all over the lid and I'm using my MAC 227 brush so I use it all over the eyelid. I'm going to just use the same big brush to go under my eyes a little bit. I'm then going to take MAC Bruce and it is a kind of a purple one and a brown color and I'm going to use the brown color. It's kind of a, it's a medium brown MAC 2C66 angle brush. So we want our eyes to be kind of angelic and winged out. So I am going to draw a line just in pretty much the middle of my lid. It's above my crease and then I am going to angle it in so it really lifts from the corner but then it goes down close to the eye so the shape essentially that you're creating is like that Now, when you're almost there, I'm just going to use an Inglot 10S brush and I'm going to take up, um, take some more of that MAC brown and I'm going to start thickening up the line a bit. But I'm doing it only above the line I just created. And here in the inner, inner corner, it depends on how kind of how much lid space you have, but I tend to go almost all the way to my eyebrow. And then I'm going to take another NARS eyeshadow, this is Ashes to Ashes, and it's kind of in the same colour family as um, the Bruce Brown, but it's just a lighter colour. And all of these colours are ever so slightly pearlescent, and I'm using uh, my MAC 217 brush. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit and I'm going to use this colour to blend the line even further. So again, keep above the line you drew. I'm then going to take the same angled brush and I'm using a little bit of MAC Mixing Medium. And I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I'm just going to dip my brush into the other, kind of like the slightly lilac-y colour. And I'm going to mix it with the Mixing Medium. So get a lot of powder onto your brush, mix it with the mixing medium and then I'm just going to go on the edge of the line, just this gives you a much sharper sharper line and then just kind of wing it out at the outer corner. Then take the Inglot 10S and the brown colour of the bruise and then just kind of Fade that line out a little bit. So we're trying to kind of create little kind of wings that go like that. I'm using Bobbi Brown Chocolate Shimmer Ink with a Shuimura 6M brush. And I'm starting at the outer third and I'm really going to fill that in. And then it quite quickly gets a lot thinner. And don't even go all the way to the inner corner of the eye. And in the outer corner, I'm going to wing it towards the line that we have already drawn. And they're not quite going to meet, but it's kind of like winging towards it. and just compare the liner in the two eyes. Now in the waterline, I'm gonna use uh, Benefit Highbrow and really get it in there. And then I'm gonna put a tiny amount just under the flick we just created. I'm then gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna use mascara only on the top uh, lashes and I'm using Maybelline Colossal uh, Volume Express. And 
when I'm brushing these into my lashes, I'm kind of brushing it outwards because I want the lashes to kind of go that way. I'm then gonna add some glitter. I'm using the MAC Reflex Gold and I'm just adding that under my eye and into the inner corner. And then I'm adding a little bit on the actual lid. But I'm careful not to go over um, the darker eyeshadow. And I'm going to use some Fix Plus just to kind of fix that glitter into place. Let it dry. Uh, then we're going to do lashes. I'm using um, Girls Aloud Sarah lashes and I've already put glue on these to dry because it kind of like, these are short lashes so they are probably two thirds because I really want to get the emphasis on kind of winging it out. So if you don't have lashes like this, um, just cut normal lashes a little bit shorter. So go kind of above your lashes Put the middle in first, then pull the outer corner to your outer corner, and then do the inner corner. And then I just like to use the other end of my tweezer to keep pushing them down. And then while the lash glue dries, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. I'm using, um, I'm using a MAC angle brush. If you don't have any, you just clean it up in between. And then I am using um, MAC uh, Coquette, which is like a cold, um, cold medium brown. And I'm just going to fill my lashes in. I'm concentrating kind of on the inner corner and then just kind of winging it out at the end and when I get to the outer corner I just wing it not up up but I'm just kind of keeping that like winged uh, movement going so I really kind of like I like an eye look where um, the bottom um, part of the lid is all nude um, it really kind of makes everything glow so even if you are wearing fake lashes and you kind of have a winged look going on when you leave all of this really nude um, it just keeps this kind of fresher so now for the cheeks I'm going to use a Scott Barnes palette and this is in Samba I'm going to try and cover the mirror there and I am going to use this color which is kind of a really fresh uh, peachy color I think out of MAC the closest would probably be um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a version of um, Fleur um, Power, and I am just going to pop it here, on the, just above the apple of my cheek, and a little bit on the tip of my nose, and I'm going to use highlighter, I'm using um, the Topshop stick, this is in, whoops, <laughs> Prism. And it is just a dead ringer for uh, NARS Copacabana. So we're going to highlight quite heavily. So we're putting highlighter here. And then highlighter down the nose. And then I like to put highlighter here on my jawbone. Because this is really going to kind of, first of all, help define your jawline. But then it actually gives you kind of an illusion of cheekbones. So you're not adding um, bronzer or you're not contouring here. You're adding a highlight here. So it kind of does exactly the same thing. And then just blend all the highlighter into your skin. And for the lips, we're going to go pink. Um, so I'm using a Bobbi Brown pencil in pale pink. And I'm going to line and fill in the lips. Then I'm, on the lips, I'm going to use a uh, Bare Minerals color, pretty amazing, in a, what is this called? Charisma. Now, I love the color, but I hate the applicator, so I tend to put the color on the back of my hand, 
and then I just use a lip brush to apply it with. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of Chanel Glossomer in 131. Any kind of like pale pink gloss is fine. This um, lip color somehow has a um, tendency to stick to your teeth. So what you do is you take a finger, this looks rude, but it actually really works, and you just go like that. So then all the color kind of from uh, the inside of your lips gets stuck in that. So you could stop at that, but I'm going to add little crystals. So these are just crystals that I bought from a um, makeup store. And they're just like see-through little Swarovski crystals. So I'm going to take my tweezers and I am going to try not drop the crystals. I'm going to put a little dot of eyelash glue on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to pick up a crystal and drop it immediately. Um, pick up a crystal, dip it in the glue, just really lightly, not too much. And I want... Uh, my crystals go on the inside um, corner of my eye. Now, you could put them on the outside corner here as well. Uh, you could do a little beauty mark with these. Um, pretty much whatever you like, but I prefer mine just here. And you just let the glue dry. So, this is the angelic, the kind of innocent party look finished. Um, you don't need to use fake lashes if you don't want to. Neither do you need to use kind of the, like the little the crystals. But it kind of adds a fun um, kind of um, party look to it. So um, yeah, I hope you like the look. And um, I'll definitely see you before Christmas. And um, if you like my channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.